Check out the instructor's comments at the end of this video for more info. I cannot believe that we have a virgin carburetor here. Zoom in. All right, it's been a while since I've seen one of these. This guy right here is called a Welch plug. We're going to um, you know, walk through the process to be able to get this uh, plug out because underneath here, you're gonna see that there's actually a, uh, an adjustable screw which adjusts the fuel mixture right in front of the butterfly you're going to be able to see this hole there. If you follow that pathway up, you'll see that channel goes with the uh, casting here for this fuel mixture screw. We're going to remove this Welch plug now because we don't want to take the carb and open it up and then have to put metal filings down inside it. So I got a couple little cheat sheet uh, tips here whatnot. First off, let's take a look at what a typical Welch plug, a drilled out one looks like. And I, I want to make a recommendation here that you guys, if you ever get to do this, keep an old one. Most all Welch plugs are about the same thickness uh, as far as how much we have to drill through. The problem with drilling the Welch plug is there's a couple things. Number one is that it's right underneath here is that screw. And when you take a pointed bit and you drill that into the head of a, of a flat blade screw, uh, a flat blade screw there's a chance we're going to take so much of the flat away that then we can't get the screw out. Okay, so that's problem number one is we have to understand the risk that we're going to punch through this and we don't, and, and right directly below this is going to be that screw. Okay, very, very short distance. So what I do to combat that is I take a drill bit and I put some tape on it uh, just a, just barely past the thickness of the Welch plug. Does that make sense? The other thing you might want to do or take note of right now is that this perfect drill size happens to be uh, 5 30 seconds. Okay? And what I've got is I just keep a little bag in my little carburetor drawer that I have some wood bit screws, which you'll see in a second how I'm gonna use them, and the drill bit, and this is what I use for my Welch plug removal. All right, so I said there was a couple problems. You ready for problem number two? Would you agree with me that that plug is pretty flush to the to the base right here? Yep. Okay. What, what do I have, what am I gonna apply to try and get that hole drilled? Pressure, when I'm drilling that hole, I'm gonna apply pressure on that. What's that <laughs> gonna do to that plug? Push it down further. Push it down further, even closer to the screw. So this, once again, this is risky. They are supposed to be a press fit so that they don't fall out. These should be driven in, but you know, older carburetors, there's always that risk. If this starts moving on me, if it starts spinning on me, I've got to stop and think and possibly readjust. Are you clear on that? So this is normal as things. You guys, when we train with mechanics, we always talk about training with intention. So listen to that intention that I'm talking about right here is we don't want to put too much pressure. Now, anytime you go to drill a hole, would you say it's common that you use a center punch to figure out where you're going to grab the center of that? Yep. Yeah. Here, this is an automatic center punch. I'm going to go ahead to the edge of the workbench here. Get this out of the way here. I don't want to do it in the middle because I don't want to actually put little divots, but I'll show you how this will work here. Okay, you would see it's flush. There's nothing there. This is a weak center punch. And listen. Okay, could you see the divot it left? Okay, now they make stuff like this. Okay, back up a second. See, let me show the difference in sizes here. When we say, a lot of times we talk about specific tools. Like, hey, use this size drive. Use this size torque wrench. Use this size... Uh, uh, strap or tie down, you know what I mean? There's so many uses where we try to say we're specific. You mechanics out there have got to understand that what, when you're dealing with small engines and power sports, you can't always just say a center punch is a center punch or a wrench is a wrench. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one and I will try and put that right here. See if you could zoom in there. Wouldn't you say that made a heck of a bigger dent? So I, guys, that's not what I want, okay? I want to just basically tap it. Pretty centered. Not too bad, right? Okay, I'm going to switch to my uh, drill bit. Lube or no lube? Aluminum, you probably shouldn't have to worry about it. Right, and I need to see. Okay, so I'm going to do no lube. You got one shot. I'm going to stop and just see, boy, it's looking pretty good in the center, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go a little more. Now, what I'm doing is hoping i got a sharp drill, but I am not pushing very hard.
Oh, you can see it cracking. Okay, it's starting to crack here. Okay. There she goes. You see it? Okay, yep. I quit. Okay, we're gonna find out whether I dinged it. You, you guys saw and felt it pop? Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like I dinged it, did it? Nope. You, I almost, almost everybody always does though, including me. And maybe it's from, you know, we're being so careful right now. <laughs> Usually that drill bit will go in, it'll put just a tiny little dimple on there, okay? So now we're to the next problem. Good, it's gonna be the little bit harder way to do this. When you get a jet kit, they give you a wood screw, something like this. All right, so here's the thing. In the jet kit, they always tell you, put this screw in. You're gonna go ahead, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to actually bite into that. And if the screw does not go, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll back off, and I'll show you what I've done, is I've taken another screw that's one step bigger, and do you see how I've ground the sharp point off? Yep. Yep. What's happening is that sharp point is hitting the screw underneath. So this is just a little trick that I can go in here and try and break that seal, especially if it, uh, if it doesn't seem to want to bite. Okay. And there's your wealth plug. Cool. Awesome. Hey, look at that! Didn't even touch the didn't even touch the screw there. So, hey guys, that is how you get that out. You want to pick? Um, actually, I got one. I'll probably get a blowgun to. Okay. All right. Back the camera up here. This table, this workbench now is full of what? Shavings. Okay. Full of shavings, okay? Do not take your carburetor apart right now. This is something where we need to reset. We gotta have that moment. We talk about that a lot with every mechanic should know, is that I gotta reset this, get this cleaned off. If I get any of this stuff in the carburetor, what am I gonna have happen? I'm gonna have problems, right? Yeah. So.